Okay, now let's do the tail. At the top, we have to declare a few variables to do with it. Under e direction do, we, de we declare integers tail x and tail y. Um, the hundreds in square brackets after them are vectors of length 100. Therefore, we can have up to 100 tail sections. That means that if you're good enough, you can actually break the game. Under that, say that at the beginning, the number of tail pieces is naught int n tail equals zero. Okay. Scroll down to void logic now. The logic behind the tail works as follows. When the snake moves, the first tail piece moves to where the head was. The second piece moves to the, the previous position of the first one, etc, etc. Okay, you can do it like this. moves the first tail piece to the place of the head. It also sets up the logic needed for the for loop. And for the for loop, for each other tail piece, it has to do the same thing. printed the tail, there's nothing there, um, so we are going to use a small O sign. Go to void draw now and add an else then a for loop after the, the if loops we did earlier. So basically what this does is it finds all the points where the tail sections need to be and if the computer while going through the rows and columns has found this place mv print at this point a small o. So if it's found a point where a tail needs to be MV print and O the tail section. Nearly done now. So, shouldn't our game end when the head of the snake collides with its tail? Yes! This 
is a simple if statement nested within a for loop. So there's the for loop. For int i is zero, i is less than entails, semicolon, increase i. What this does is it runs through all the tail segments and checks if the head coordinates are the same. If not, check the next tail piece, i++. But if x is equal to the x coordinate of any point along the tail, and the same for y, then you die. Game over is true. Close your brackets and then we're okay game over is true and then we're done. Phew. Okay, just remember to put in the get and end win at the end of the code. Okay, should we try this out? Okay, terminal. Let's. Oh, remember to put the the end cursors after. Wait. Okay. Ooh. What happened? The tail's not growing. Everything else is working. The score's increasing. Hmm. Let's look. Um, there's a problem here. No, I think it's wrong. There. Um, okay, this is where we. wrote the code about the. N. Tail. The tail's not increasing, so oh, okay. Oh, so sorry about that. We have to type end tail increases. Okay, so when you eat a fruit, your tail grows longer. Just left that out. Okay, and curses. Remember to put that there. And then we run it. It's called play. You can call it whatever you want. And there's your simple snake game on C for Mac users. Ha! Huh. Tail's growing longer, the score's increasing. Cool. And you can die. Let's see if you can. Die on your own tail, eat yourself. Okay, you just need to get long enough. Nope. Okay. Score six. Woo! New high score. Cool, it works. Awesome additions to this game could be a menu at the beginning with the options of play, how to play, or even settings where the player can adjust the speed of the game, etc. 
And please could you tell us about any other ideas of additions to this game or about insane high scores in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'm just going to scroll through it for you so you can see the final product. Void draw. Void input. watching and enjoy.